Once I become debt free and cut up all my credit cards, will this hurt my credit score? Lower credit scores mean higher interest rates on the house I would like to buy in the future. Or do you recommend saving for a house with cash, even though that might take a long time? Mm. This is a great question because the credit score industry is so confusing. Oh, yeah. And they're very, they, they keep it up with lock and key. And so there are a few things we know about how the credit score is made up. But yes, yes canceling your card could mean that your credit score takes a dip. Yeah. Because that makes sense. You pay off your debt and close your accounts and they go, not okay with us. Well, I mean, think about it. The whole credit score is based on your relationship with debt, right? How much debt you have, how long have you had the debt, you know, what's your debt to income? Debt, 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 debt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that. payment history is the biggest one. 35% of your scores, that's the factor. Amounts owed is 30%. Length of credit history, another 15%. New credit, 10%. Credit mix, the variety of credit, another 10%. And so mm. it's all having to do with how much you play kissy face with the bank. Man, I'm not doing it. I, I'll be the first to tell you guys, when we canceled our credit cards and the ones that were in my name, uh, yeah, my credit score took a dip. I'll be honest, my credit score was not great to begin with. It was probably like 630 or something like that. And yeah, it went down. And then it had a, a period of time where it just kind of stayed the same and did nothing. But let me tell you something, George. As soon as that last debt was paid off, it went down to zero. Woo! That's right. So what we're talking about here uh, is not a tanking of your credit score. It means your credit score becomes invisible or indeterminable. Yep. So six to 12 months after you pay off all your debt, you close all those accounts, six to 12 months later, that score disappears. Yep. And here's the good news. Once you cut up your cards and become completely debt-free, you're not out of the woods. You got to have a fully funded emergency fund and start saving up the down payment. And so you actually don't need uh, the credit score for that process if you go through manual underwriting. Yes, come on and tell them, George. So manual underwriting is a little known fact. I did a, a quick clip from the show, went viral on social media, <laughs> and people think, oh, I can get around the system. I have a terrible score, but I can still get a no-score no, loan. No, no. It's in the name, no-score loan. And Church Home Mortgage is the number one lender in the country that does these. Yeah. And so that, you know, if you go through Church Home Mortgage, for an example, and you want manual underwriting you got to have no credit score at all to do these manual underwriting no-score loans, which means you're completely debt-free. You've got to have a good down payment, mm -hmm. you know, let's, let's say minimum 10% down, and you go, you got to do the 15-year, which I know is crazy in today's culture. It's worth it. But if you do those things, hear me say this, you will have the same exact interest rate as someone with excellent credit. That's and right. And I verified this with our friends at Churchill. I've had multiple discussions. We ran numbers where we actually showed people your quotes for your mortgages. Yeah. And they found if you do 10% down on a 15-year fixed with a good, you know, your your numbers all check out, your W-2s are there, your income is there. Yep. You've got proof of uh, 12 months of rental history verifi verified by a landlord or even your parents. Mm -hmm. And you have other utility bills you've been paying on time for 12 months, your mm -hmm. insurance premiums, your cell phone bills, your utility bills. All of that counts towards this financial picture yeah. to where a real person says, you are approved for the mortgage at a great rate. And let me, can I just say, because I know somebody, regardless of how well and how eloquently George just described that, there's still somebody sitting out there going, mm, I don't know. And can I just tell you, I was that person. When Sam and I were going through the baby steps, you know, we were like, there were some things that I was like, I know Dave is saying this. I know George and Rachel and all of them are saying this, but can it really be true? Mm. I'm telling you, I'm sitting in this seat telling you it works. Credit score went to zero. And I was like, oh, I was excited, but I was a little bit nervous. And then I did what they told me to do. We went to Churchill Mortgage. Jeff Green, shout out to Jeffrey Jeff. Green at Churchill Mortgage. He walked us through the process. And here's the thing. It's even easier if you've got like a standard nine to five job because it's easy to show, you know, all the records and everything they want to show. But as a small business owner, it still worked. The proof is in the pudding. That's I'm sitting right. here telling you. And I've done the same. Ooh. I went through this process. And the crazy part is people still commented going BS. And I went, what part of this do you not understand where I just told you I did it? And <laughs> then here's the frustrating part, Jade. People started popping in the comments going, well, yeah, look at that guy's skin color. Of course he got approved for a mortgage. What? 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 So, Jade, can you verify? Uh, look, look, the melanin is real. And your girl's got a house. And she got it on a zero credit score. Now, here's the thing. Why do you want to be right so bad? That's what I want to know. Why do you want to be right that you cannot buy a home with a zero credit score? What is that getting you? 
What is it getting you? I kind of like the fact that we live in a world where you don't have to bow down to the credit gods and there's still a way for you to make a way without borrowing money from credit. Why are you mad about that? I'm mad. Y'all got me mad. We got her riled up. It's so true, Jade. We can rise above this broken system. Yes. And people just go, because they've never done it, and because there's so much baggage, there's so much shame, there's so much crap that they've had to deal with financially, they just go, well, that might work for them, but it's not going to work for me. But what's crazy about our plan is it works every time you work it. And when you become completely debt-free with an emergency fund, yeah. and you're patient, you save up that down payment, you make the sacrifices you need to make— you can become a homeowner without a score. Yeah. Regardless of your skin color and where you came from and all the baggage that you come to the door with, you can win financially. You can win. But it starts when you put all that baggage aside and say, I'm going to win in spite of all that. Boom, George. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you want to play with debt, if you want to go and do the credit card deal, you want to do the credit card shuffle, you want to play with assets and liabilities and leverage, and do go ahead and go on and do that and get yourself an 800 credit score and go buy your house and have trouble sleeping at night. But for the rest of us... As for me and my house. As for me and my house, we are not going to serve these FICO gods. We are not going to do it. We are going to have our own money and our own account doing our own thing and if you want to be mad about it you go ahead and be mad all day because we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank and we ain't mad about that's it that's right we want to share the good news well, so and, and then with this credit score stuff even aside from home ownership people go well jade your insurance rates are going to be terrible and how are you going to rent a car and, and a hotel listen i have lived my life without the credit score using a debit card yep and i even checked i checked every major rental car company's policies they all have a debit card policy yes they do and yes, you might have a slight, slightly higher deposit. Yeah, you got to have a little money in your account. But aside from that, it wasn't much different than a normal process. No. And the same goes for pretty much everything. Renting, you know, yep. renting an Airbnb, getting a hotel. Yeah. Uh, and car loans. That's a big one. People say, well, Jade, how am I going to get a car loan? You don't. You don't get it. Even, you pay cash. Even fraud. You know, people have said, well, you got to have a credit card. What if you have fraud? I'm like, well, number one, I got Xander to cover that. And two... Anytime I've ever had fraud on my account, they, they've they given me the money back. It's the same thing. You don't need credit cards. That's a lie. I'm done That's with this credit That's a lie from score. the pit. Come at me, FICO. Come at me, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. When it comes to credit, George and Jade Warshaw are not playing. George Campbell and Jade Warshaw, we do not have the same last Hashtag name. Hashtag debit life. <laughs> I know that's right. We got that debt free lifestyle and we want that for you as well. This is The Ramsey Show.